one of the things I spent most time trying to get working on the 4K Fire Stick or really any of the Amazon devices is the ability to access your Google Drive. I mean, lots of different applications offer that service, but if you try to use that on a Fire Stick, as we can see here, I can click on Add Web Storage, click on Google Drive, and unfortunately that just fails straight away. And the reason for that is for you to access any of those Google services, your device has to have certain services from Google running, which is not a problem for Android TV devices like the Nvidia Shield or the new Chromecast with Google TV. But unfortunately on these Amazon devices, those services are just not present. So wouldn't it be amazing if we could somehow access all of those Google services another way? Well, guess what guys, watch this. So here is my online movie library hosted on my Google Drive. And anything I click on works straight away guys. So we are now streaming content from my Google Drive on my 4K Fire Stick. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this configured on your Fire Stick or really any of the Amazon devices and now stream all of the content you have in your Google Drive absolutely free. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, make sure you've opened up this application. I'm using the latest version and head over to settings, which is the cogwheel on the top. Let's click on that. Let's now go to add-ons. Now, when I click on install from repository, because I don't have any other repositories installed because I only use this application as a media player, for me, it's going to default to the official K application repository. But in your case, if you have multiple repositories installed, make sure you go to the official K applications repository. So let's click on that now. And we can just see at the top here, this is the official K application add-on repository. Let's scroll down. And what we're looking for here are the video add-ons. So let's click on that. And I may actually do a separate video on this, but they really have got some fantastic official add-ons you can use with this application. So everything from news add-ons to gaming clips to Comedy Central. You've got some film rise, lots of good stuff in here, guys. Food Network. But what we're looking for here is the Google Drive add-on. So let's click on that. And we can confirm this will allow you to play all of your media from your Google Drive, whether that's videos, that's photos, that's music. You're basically going to be using your Google Drive as a source. Now, of course, this doesn't have to be your main Google Drive because you can just create a new Gmail account just for this process. What you can also do, uh, which I'm not going to go into details in this video, but you can pretty much go to ebay.com or ebay.co.uk, just type in unlimited Google Drive and you can buy Google Drives for a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds, which have unlimited storage. Now, there's no guarantee that these will be up forever, but people have used them for a couple of years and they now have unlimited storage in the cloud that they can access from any device and then stream their content, download their content, wherever they want to do, they can access that unlimited drive storage. Let's click on install. Here we have some dependencies which will be automatically installed. Let's click on OK. Give that a second and I will then go ahead and install those dependencies and then install the add-on. Okay, we see the message that the add-on is now installed. I can now click on that again. I can go to open. And I then see the message, add an account. So let's click on that now. And this then gives you a URL that you can use to link your account to this add-on. And again, guys, if you are worried about your main account, you can just use a brand new account for this process. And that's what I'm going to be doing in this demonstration. So let me go over to that URL. So here I'm on that web page. I can now type in that code. So four, five, B E one eight. And this then tells me to sign into whichever Gmail account I like, so I can then establish that partnership with that account to this add on. So let me do that now. So I'm just signing into my PC doctor account. And we then see the prompt saying that this add on is going to get access to the files in your Google Drive account. And do you want to authorize that? Let's click on allow. And that's it. That's now all authorized. Let's go back to our application. And we've now successfully created that partnership from my Google Drive account to this add-on. So I can now click on my account here. And I then see the hierarchy that I would see in my Google Drive. So I can go to my drive. Here we can see I've got my uh, eBooks, I've got my movies, my TV shows, 
Um, I can click on my movies, for example, and here's all of the stuff that I've uh, previously purchased. So I can now click on this, for example, this is a high quality uh, 1080p or high bitrate uh, file. Click on play, give that a second. And that's now being streamed from my Google Drive through the internet onto my 4K Fire Stick, guys. So do give a thumbs up for that. If I forward that a bit, and that's it, guys. I now have full access to all of the content in my Google Drive that I can now access from anywhere. And it's working great, guys. I mean, you can imagine the kind of bandwidth that Google have. So your content is being streamed from the Google servers. So you shouldn't really have any kind of issues with buffering or lag or choppy playback, as you can see, guys. As soon as I click on forward, that just plays straight away, guys. So really, I'm impressed with that. Let's click on stop. And let's back out of this. Uh, we can go to my TV shows. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And here we can see all my other stuff. So, and of course, it's completely up to you how you create your hierarchy. So you could have all of your stuff in one big folder or you can break it down into different years, uh, different quality, like 1080p stuff, 4K stuff, or, and it's not just about the TV shows and movies. If I back out of this, back again, for example, I can navigate over to uh, photos or pictures, sorry. I can go to picture add-ons. Again, we can see that Google Drive is present. I can click on that. I can again browse to my account. I can click on wallpapers. And this is now scanning all of the photos in your Google Drive, and we should then be able to see them with this add-on. So it just gives it great flexibility that whether you have your photos or your videos or your music files, wherever content you have on your Google Drive, we can now access that on our 4K Fire Stick. So we can see some of the wallpapers in here. I can press the right on the remote to navigate to the next photo. I'm now accessing all of that content in my Google Drive directly from my 4K Fire Stick. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really am glad that we have a working solution for this because just having that ability to access all of the content in your Google Drive from your Fire Stick or any device where you can install this application, I do think that is a game changer. And if you tie that up with an unlimited Google Drive account, I think the possibilities are endless. So if you did find this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.